Hey guys, welcome back. Not a good video, not a good situation, not a good time uh, uh, time limit, um, not a good a lot of stuff that is going on with this particular video. As you saw on the thumbnail, there was an accident and this accident has really got me sweating because the last video that I put out about the USAC update, I was kind of like time crunched doing that, thinking, man, I hope I can get this thing together, much less without anything going on. So the, the, this body, it looks amazing. It does. I've got the foil work done. Let's see if I can get this thing to, to, to look at, at the, at the body. Come on, you can do it there. So I've got the, got the pinstriping on the foil work is done all my fenders and everything. And, and I'm just, I couldn't be happier with it. Um, and until when I was foiling over the, the passenger side, um, front fender <sighs> I didn't realize I laid a pretty big sheet of foil on there and just like the picture shows here it, it just totally when I pulled it off I just I went <gasps> no you ever have those moments no and uh I was actually this this was my reaction a little about me i i am a i am a vessel that can take a lot and take and take and take and take and take but then there's this point where oh man explosions happen and last night whenever i pulled off that when I pulled off that decal, and as you can see on this side, um, there ain't no decal. Um, I wanted to take my hand, and I almost did. And I stopped myself. I said, no, you got too much time in it. I wanted to, and I've never done this with a model before, but last night I wanted to take my hand like a hammer and smash that thing into a million pieces until I thought, it ain't, it's, it's not... It's my fault, not the car's fault. <laughs> well, what did I do? I ordered another set of decals because that's the only two that I had. And luckily, it looks like they'll be delivered on the 31st of January. Um, so I'm kind of kind of going to have to just get everything else um together and then when that decal comes in get it on there but i was to say the least very disappointed um let me ask you guys this and this is probably probably rings true to most of you do you ever have those builds where everything is going just great the the assembly's going great the 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 paint looks amazing it seems to be flawless and then you make one dumb move like windshield or something like that. You've got glue all over the windshield or something like that. it ruins the entirety of the model. Well, I thought well, I didn't ruin it, but I mean, this thing looks so nice. I'm, I'm just so thrilled. Come on. Come on, camera. Let me touch it right there. There we go. But this thing was turning out so nice and uh, so flawless. It's not flawless, but you know what I mean when I say flawless. I mean like for my standards, oh, it was flawless. And for that to happen, I just, I was, I was, I was very troubled. I've procrastinated. I've procrastinated with this build for so long. So I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I let a build sit on my bench and sit and sit and sit while I'm on the other bench here breaking out a new build and building it instead of finishing that one. That's I, that's why I have a um, real, um, I have a problem with attention um, as you already know that and I will focus all my attention over here and completely forget about what I've got started and what really needs my time and attention. But anyway, 
with that said, I should have the decals um, in time. And again, um, I, I scared, I forget who it was, but they're like, oh no, I'm almost out of time. Um, the 11th, June, uh, February the 11th, I thought it was March the 15th. I'm trying to get this done for JaxCon. That was the whole thing. Like the last video is like, am I going to have enough time for this? It's not to complete it by March 15th. Obviously I can get it done by then. Um, no problem. But in two weeks, uh, it's JaxCon. So that is my goal to get it finished by then. I've still got to paint the wheels and the uh, tires that my friend Alan Qualls made for me. I've got to get those painted, which that's not a big one. That's not a big deal. Got to get them set in the chassis. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's just assembly. The engine is complete. Got a few things, little details I want to do to the engine. But other than that, it looks amazing. I'm very proud of it. And uh, once I get that decal in, this it'll make me, I can take a, uh, have a sigh of relief and wipe the, the sweat from my brow. And say, Whew, it's over, finally. But um, I just want to show you, give you guys an update and show you that uh, it doesn't look just like the last video. I had that mishap so note to self use little bitty strips of bare metal foil if your decals are making contact with the foil because it will pull it right off there and how i got the rest of the decal off because i don't know if you guys have ever ever tried to take off decals but they don't come off very easy so i'll tell you what i did i just went outside and got some uh duct tape or aluminum foil tape and this stuff really sticks. And I'm thinking, oh great, now I'm gonna pull the paint off. And that's really gonna make me smash it into a million pieces. But I just took this this tape and put on the the, pit, or the uh, decal, pulled it right off. I mean like nobody's business. So hey, tip for the day. If you wanna remove decals, get you some uh, aluminum foil tape. And that'll do the job. Or just put a big, uh, big sheet of bare metal foil and that'll remove it too. <laughs> anyway guys, Thanks for watching and supporting my channel. Grateful for all that you guys do. Um, uh, more than appreciative. I can't wait to see you guys down in JaxCon. I can't wait to see my friends um, and to see you guys that support me uh, by watching my channel. Uh, it's very, very special to know that people are out there and they support me. Um, in every way that you do, whether it be just subscribing and watching the videos, whether it be purchasing a t-shirt or a coffee mug or something like that from the spring store or being a member of the Patreon uh, page. Um, yeah. Or you guys that send me stuff. Um, I, I'm greatly, greatly appreciative for all that you do for me. Can't say enough. Uh, don't forget also to go check out Hobby Nut Models linked in the description below. That's where this paint came from. That beautiful Alpine white. Um, or hold on, Adobe page, Alpine White. I don't remember what color it was. What color was it? Alpine White. Yeah, that's what it was, Alpine White. But it turned out amazing. Can't wait to show it to you guys. Woo, the thing looks nice. I just don't want to look at the other side. It's got the pinstripe missing. Anyway, guys, I'm done with this video. Take care, and we will see you all, hopefully, at JaxCon. But I'm sure I'll have a video before then. If not, see you there. All right, guys, take care.